Yes, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is well and thank you once again for tuning in. First things first, make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and subscribe to Sava at the Football Heritage. We've just done a video on his channel talking about the best striker in the world and Erling Haaland. So make sure you go and check that out. Um, Sava, how's things, mate? Shocking. Uh, just sorry, let me get my mic. Absolutely shocking bit of... Uh... Bit of intro there from you to try and swing people your way. Um, no, I'm good, my man. I'm really, really good. Tan's fading slowly but surely. But other than that, fit and healthy. You? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Um, lots good. to get through in terms of Tottenham. We're going to be speaking about this. Uh, so just for a bit of context, um, Daniel Levy was at Cambridge University yesterday and he spoke about how the um, how he expects the fans to perceive him the expectations of the football club and a little bit about Harry Kane. So we're going to be reacting about that and also talking a little bit about Luis Enrique before we finish. So Levy has said, for anyone who's listening or watching, I'm not sure what an average Spurs fan is. First things first, what do you make of that? I'm not sure what an average Spurs fan is. I mean, I, I, look, there, there's a number of ways to look at that, right? I think it depends how the question was put at him. But if we're saying, oh, the average Spurs fan, everyone's just the same as a Spurs fan. No one's got the monopoly on it, right? No one's Precisely. a better Spurs fan than anybody else. I don't think it matters what your beliefs. I don't think it matters how long you supported the club. Yeah, Every Spurs fan is a Spurs fan, whether it's been for one year, 70 years, whether you're... Um, whether the, your favourite manager of all time is Bill Nick, whether your favourite manager of all time is Poch, whether you're Levy in, Levy out, you know, whether you're Paratici, it, everyone's a Spurs fan. So for me, there's no average Spurs fan. Everyone is just a Spurs fan. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're home, well, you go to the home games, you go to the away games, you watch overseas. We're all, we're all the same at the end of the day. And he sure. says, uh, but I hope, I would hope that they would perce uh, perceive that I am always acting in the best interest of the club. <laughs> mm, that's got a bit of debate coming. Um, oh. I've given a large proportion of my working life to the club. And I think that the club today, hopefully they will perceive, you said that a lot of times, um, it to be a better place than when I first got involved. What do you make of, um, I, get, I would hope that they would perceive I am always acting in terms of the best interest of the club. Is that on pitch matters or off pitch matters. Well, th th this is always going to. We're never having a conversation about Tottenham, about Levy, about what's best for the club, what's not. There's so many different ways to look at this. Look, from a fan point of view, every fan's going to have their own belief on this. Again, as we said just now, every fan is entitled to that belief. What we perceive of Daniel Levy versus what he's actually done can be two very different things. There are fans that. We'll look at it and go, okay, well, where we were in 2001 when he picked us up to where we are now is a hell of a lot better. There are fans yeah. that will think that and they will have a, they will have a, a point in, in certain areas, right? This is, this isn't one size fits all for infrastructure, for financial aspects, the stadium, um, what they've done for the community, um, the training ground. Absolutely. Is the club a different beast to when he took over? Yeah, massively a different beast. However, as a purist, as a football fan that grew up, Panini stickers, you know, remember the old Merlin sticker book, the, you know, posters on my wall of Gary Mabbott with an FA Cup and all this. Then the perception is, well, OK, you've done all these wonderful things, but I'm a football fan. I don't benefit from all of that. I benefit from the joy and the emotion and the elation of winning. And that's not being forthcoming from this ownership. So, it's going to be viewed in many different ways. And like you pointed out there, Henry, it's the word he's used quite a lot there, perceive. Mm. And we're all, we're all very, very different human beings. Right. And, and that's what makes it, that's what makes it debatable. If you and I had an identical opinion, life would be well boring and our football conversations at work would be uh, rubbish. So yeah. He's, Levy's also then gone on to say that, um, cause there was a little bit of, um, talk on um harry kane um and this mm. sparked a lot of debate as well yeah. uh, big up to the spurs as well for, for le giving us all the quotes yeah um he says um daniel levy on harry kane he can absolutely win a trophy at spurs um i know he can he's had 70 attempts so far and so far 
Uh, it's 70 attempts or 60 attempts he's had so far. I don't know. It's quite a lot, mate. It's quite um, a lot. But being a legend is also important. The fact that he's top goal scorer of Tottenham Hotspur, he's making history. Now, I'm going to address this because I'm going to address this for what it is. I hope one day there's a statue of Harry Kane outside of our stadium. If you're Harry Kane, right, you, in my opinion, you'd swap most of those goals for a trophy, right? Because in 30 years' time, 40 years' time, when you're sitting down with your children or grandchildren or whatever it is, you look back at your career and go, this is what I did throughout my career, right? I was a top goal scorer of Tottenham. I was a top goal scorer of England. But yeah. I don't have anything to actually show for those goals. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Le Levy's also said that um, one day he hopes there's a statue of Harry Kane outside the stadium. Okay. There's a statue of Vincent Company outside the Etihad and David Silva. Look at their careers. Look at Harry Kane's career. There's a statue of Henri outside of the Emirates. Yeah. Look at his career. Look at... Is that the expectation of Tottenham has fallen that we're now giving statues for players? Because if you look at the harsh reality, he hasn't won anything at Tottenham. Yeah, look, the harsh reality is, is, is he hasn't. Um, has he been a legend for the club? I mean, in, in terms of him being the club's all-time top goal scorer, the word legend needs to come into play. Um, again, I'll bring it back, and I know this sounds really diplomatic, and I'm really sorry if this isn't harsh enough for some people, but it's how you perceive it. Some people will literally look at Harry Kane. He is the golden boy that came through our academy, has scored hundreds of goals, has gone on to lead Spurs, lead, lead England, top goal scorer for both club and country, and can do no wrong. There are other people that look at this and go, OK, but like you mentioned, Henry, he has had a lot of opportunities to put that right. And that's the age-old argument of, you know, yeah, we've not won anything under leaving Nick. I'm on that side of the fence, but I'm also, I've got one toe dipping over the fence saying, well, hang on. They have had chances to. Yeah, of course. Right? We've been in what, three, they, three or four finals with him? Well, yeah, yeah. Look, he's played in a League Cup final. He, he has he played one League two, Cup, two, two, League Cup finals. two League Cup finals. He's played in a Champions League final, multiple FA Cup finals. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, um, multiple um, uh, semi finals for different competitions. He, some might argue, and again, this gets people into trouble because they, they back him to the hilt, but some might argue, what happened to you on those days? Where yeah. were you on those days? So, look, if we take this back to the comments, he can absolutely win a trophy at Spurs, not trophies, not multiples. I could be reading into that so too much. It, it, even if he wins a League Cup, that's an awful career. Look at Ligby King. Yeah. All he won throughout his career was a League Cup. Harlan is yeah. 22, and this year could have completed a treble. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I mean, it, have a look. Have a look at Phil Foden. Phil Foden Precisely. is what 21, 22, 22 and he's won four, four, five Premier Leagues, FA Cups, League Cups. You know, it, it, look, listen, look. It, I suppose it all depends on what you define a successful career. Has he had an individual successful career? Yes, for his own accolades. Has he had a successful career from the point of view where you go in, 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 in 10, 15, 20 years time, if we're talking to our children, Henry, and we they go, dad, tell us about Harry Kane. We'll say he was a phenomenal goal scorer. What else? What, right? Yeah, but that's it, really. My oldest talking to me about the likes of Steve Perryman, Hoddle. Yeah. yeah. What did these players win? Gaza. They won UEFA Cups, FA Cups, League Cups. You know what I mean? They went on to win league titles of other clubs. It, it all depends. The, the problem you've got is, naturally, everyone is going to defend Kane so much because he's our player. I'll ask you this question, Henry. If Harry Kane played for one of our rivals that had gone 15 years without winning a trophy, would we'd we be, be saying the same him. thing? We'd, we'd be absolutely crucifying right. him. Look at, okay. look at Arsenal. If they don't win the league, we're all going to jump on the bandwagon. Arsenal bottled it, right. right? But to go neck and neck with Manchester City, <laughs> you've got to be a serious team. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, yeah, they've bottled it on, on certain on certain games, but it's still, still, there's still a strong team to go in terms yeah. of uh, up with Man City. It's just... For, for me, I've said, I've said all along, if, if, if Harry Kane was serious about trophies at any point, he would have handed in that transfer request. I've got I've got people that keep coming onto my channel saying things like um, uh, he did want to leave though Sava he wanted to go Man City well not serious enough because there was no transfer request 
Look at yeah. Carlos Tevez. He refused to come off the bench. If you wanted that badly, Dimitri Payet wanted, wanted, wanted out of West Ham and literally forced his move. I'm not, yeah. I don't. I, then the argument is, oh, but Harry Kane is too professional to do that. That's then the next argument. Well, the thing is, no one's going to remember that in 25, 30 years. No one's going to come up with the argument, oh, he didn't win any trophies, but he was the ultimate professional. Listen, I I just think for me, when you are that good at football, you've got to be collecting trophies. And I always ask this question, Henry, and I always get the same two or three names that come back. Anyone name me players as good as or better than Harry Kane that didn't win a trophy in their career? I, 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 I don't think you, you, you can. You can't. And, Jermaine and Defoe didn't win a trophy to he was about 38 at Rangers. Do you know that? Did, didn't he win the FA Cup? I don't or a League Cup did. or something? Oh, either way. And, and, and Jermaine Defoe's not as good as Harry Kane, right? Precisely. Right. And look, I'm not knocking Harry Kane at all. I'm, I'm not in any way, shape or form. And obviously you don't want a player like that to leave the club. But does he need to stay at Tottenham to win a trophy? Sorry, does he need to leave Tottenham to win a trophy? If you look at the shambles we're in right now, you would say yes. But could we fluke a League Cup or an FA Cup next year? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I've been saying I, this for 15 I, I don't years, Henry. Well, I don't know. Just lastly, we're, we're quickly going to finish on Luis Enrique. Apparently, we have an open run now to sign him. Chelsea are no longer in the race. For me, we should be acting like the way Manchester United did when they got Ten Hag. Get it done. Announce he's going to be the manager in the summer. I think that would that would lift the fans a little bit. Um, look at this month, big, big games, Newcastle Sunday, Manchester United Thursday afterwards, then Liverpool three days later. If we lose all three of those games, you know, we could be sat eighth. That, yeah. that, that's the harsh reality of it. We need, at the moment, we need a lift in the fan base. Yeah, we need a lift in the fan base. Listen, uh, as far as those three games go, I, I don't think we were going to get any points with them, with Conte or with Stellini. I see so many people having this debate at the moment about what would we have done with Conte versus with Stellini. For me, nothing's changed. All the bad results were happening under Conte the way they are under Stellini. For me, we just need this season to finish. This is no longer about yeah. Conte v Stellini v Jose v Poch v Lee. This is the season is, is a shambles. Um, to answer your question... Bringing in Luis Enrique, would it give the fans a lift? I think it would give a lot of fans a lift. I think it would be good for us to know going into the season, going into the summer, that, hey, this this guy is going to be the one picking up. And then everyone can sort of relax a little bit knowing, okay, we know we need to get to the end of this season. Hopefully they can start working in the background with Enrique as to, Luis, what targets have you got in, let's be honest, Spain that play ticket tackle? What targets have you got across Europe? So, the feel-good factor needs to come back in one way, shape, or form, Henry. Yeah. Um, and if it's if it's through Enrique, it's through Enrique. We get behind whoever the next manager is. I f- I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in that. I don't care if it's Rogers, company, Poch, Enrique. We've got to get behind them, hope that they stay for three, four, five years and start to build something. Yeah, listen, I agree. You're absolutely spot on. Look, we are going to finish. Make sure you do smash a like on the video on the way out and make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Also subscribe to Sava at the Football Heritage. You can see it there, literally written it on the, on the screen. Uh, we are going to finish. Um, make sure to check out the video we did on Savage Channel earlier. We are going to do another video on Savage Channel right now. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to both channels. We are out of here. Um, thank you.